so yeah so petting a horse um, you can always kind of start with the face they're pretty good Luke here he's so tolerant I mean if I wanted to I could just give him a noogie like I said like a little brother he always wanted and for the next trick he'd be like a grandma and start pinching their cheeks Ooh, look at the little cute horse <laughs> but seriously Snuggle with a horse. It's kind of cool. Hey, buddy. Anyways, talking today about petting a horse. Uh, at a very specific request, I thought, sure, let's talk about petting horses. Um, our guys uh, are usually pretty good when it comes to, to touching them or petting them or, or doing anything. This is Luke. He is by far our, our gentlest and most tolerant or uh, patient, trusting, while she is our most skittish see she moves away so uh, an afraid or worried horse will be a little more um, dangerous to be around than one that isn't um, because they'll kind of tolerate just about anything when it comes to to petting a horse you really have to think of your safety first uh, if you're petting a horse that you don't know um, you want to be really careful you don't want to approach them quickly uh, you don't want to approach them uh, from behind. Uh, a lot of people do say, you know, don't walk behind a horse, don't get behind them because they'll kick you with their back legs or something like that. But, you know, not all horses are kickers like that. In fact, you know, this guy here, um, yeah, he doesn't really care. So, you know, I could kind of goof around back here and not really worry he's not going to kick me but that doesn't say that other horses wouldn't but I don't think Lena would either I think she's pretty she's just dirty maybe I wouldn't hug her so close but but in general you know pretty gentle creatures that said though it's not like they have never kicked out or never sort of reacted in a fearful way that um, they felt like they needed to defend themselves. So again, when you are approaching a horse, um, you're gonna do it kind of slowly. If you're going to come up and just say, hey, how's it going? And you'll read their body language. These guys don't seem to be having any problems whatsoever. Just eating, but out in maybe a field where there are other horses around and they're talking and they're, they're um, maybe avoiding another horse. Maybe they need to be able to get away uh, then then you have to be a little bit more careful. So when it comes to petting them, really, there's not much to it. You can pet their head gently. I mean, um, some people uh, some people are kind of rough with their pets and they'll, they'll really kind of get in there and really bug them and stuff. But as you can see, he's not not a big fan of that. If I really kind of get in there, he'll he'll avoid that. Um, so you really don't want to try to be too mean. Just be as gentle as you can. Something like that. Um, horses really like it when you rub them along their withers. In here, their neck and their withers. In here, it's just soft. It's not, not a lot to it. Um, another area to sort of be careful is in here in the stifle. You know, he's a little touchy here still, but you can get used to it. See his tail moving. Um, that's another good indicator that a horse is unhappy. They might move their tail a bit. See, so I'll bug him. He'll move his tail. So, 
I'll just pet him nicely in here and just say, that's okay. Um, always along the back, it's kind of a nice spot for them. He's awfully dirty, I should probably brush him, but, but the front of the head and the nose, you know, some horses get nervous if you pat them on the top of the head, but like here, Lena's, Lena's a nervous Nelly. Let's show you what a nervous Nelly looks like. Doesn't look like that, but again, along the withers, uh, every horse likes a good butt scrubbing, scratching. But um, again, you want to be careful. You're always thinking of your safety. Read the horse's body language. See ears like this. It's not, it's not as desirable as say ears like that. Oh, hang on, come on. There, I've only got one hand. Anyways, if their ears are forward like that, that's a good thing. That's not a good thing. Ears back, not cool. Ears forward. <laughs> then it's cooler. So, try it with Luke. See what he has to say. Not much. So anyways, um, yeah, when you're approaching horses, you want to be careful, you want to be kind, you want to be um, watching their body. Uh, petting them is just a gentle process. Just, there's nothing Nothing that you'd do that you wouldn't maybe want done to yourself. Um, hard hitting and stuff, uh, not really. Just, you know, gentle sort of touches. The tips of your fingers are really effective. You know, you just kind of come along and just gently touch them. So, I don't know. Hopefully that helps. You know, if, if you're looking for some kind of ideas of how to touch a horse or what things to think about, again, it's just, it's just a matter of being nice, letting them know you're not there to, to hurt them. You're not there to cause them any trouble. You just want to be nice to them. So I'll show you one more horse actually, uh, and how he reacts to some pets as well. So we'll go over that way. Let's go get him. Okay, so this guy here is our, uh, Youngest, and uh, let's see if he'll come over. I usually try to shoo him out of this corner because he um, he's a little pushy and stuff. Try to get out and get back to where he wants to be. But with any luck, I can draw him back this way. <laughs> Maybe he'll wait on me. Okay, let's go to him. Say, hey buddy. How about some pets? So here you might approach a horse, you know, out in the open somewhere, and you might just watch their ears. You know, watch their ears, watch their nose, see if they're, they're interested. He's got his ears forward, so that's good. Now he's left. So I'm not really gonna pressure him too much. This horse, to me, seems anxious. So petting a horse like this, they might be thinking of something other than what you're interested in, which is just to pet them. So again, I'll approach him on his forehead because he looked at me. And now I'll wait. Petting a horse requires their attention at first. So I'll wait till he sort of come this way a little bit. Maybe he'll turn there. Now I'll pet him on the forehead. I'll pet him on the nose gently. And at this point, I could probably get up to his neck, rub him along here. His lovely locks. And down on the withers. Now he's still pretty interested because Luke's gone off into our, or actually both of them have gone off into their into the pasture area. Or <laughs> forest. So he's going to leave. So you let him leave. There's no use uh, hassling a horse that doesn't want to be pet. He's not interested in it. It's not where he finds his comfort. So keeping that in mind, horses getting pet generally aren't in a comfortable place. It's a pressure thing to them. And um, they, uh, unless they're really, really used to it, like Luke, or you give him a noogie and, you know, he doesn't really care. But uh, um, yeah, so maybe that's the basics on petting a horse. Keep your safety in mind. Keep your space. Don't approach them from the rear. Try to approach them from the front. Wait for them to look at you. Um, wait till they, you have their attention. They don't have their ears back. They have their ears forward. 
Um, you're always thinking of safety. You're always thinking about whether or not that horse is comfortable or not. And whether or not he's paying attention or he's got something else on his mind that's bothering him, like this guy, or he'd like to be with his buddies, but he can't. So, come here. Here, we'll cut him off. We'll try one more time. He's probably gonna leave. Yeah, he left. And that's okay, so don't, don't chase down a horse that's leaving you. The best thing to do really is let them come to you and, uh, and it'll keep you a little bit safer because you're not uh, putting any pressure on them that they're saying, hey, I don't want it. Uh, they're prey animals, not predators, so that also sort of takes effect. But I don't know, that's the basics of petting a horse. Um, hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching.